Hello guys, welcome to algorithms made easy. Today we will be discussing the question valid square. In this question, we are given the coordinates of four points in 2D space where we need to return whether the four points will construct a square or not. The coordinate x for the point is represented by an integer array with two integers. It is given. With the node given as the integer will be in the range of minus 10,000 to plus 10,000. The valid square has four equal sides with the positive length and the four equal angles. And the input point has no order. Now this uh, creates an issue for us to solve this problem because we do not know any order of the coordinates. We are not sure how to find the distance and what will be the distance. But this question does not include any of the higher logic and will simply needs to perform uh, simple logical operations in order to get the result we want to have. So we will start off uh, coding this question by first creating a integer set. Now we need to find the distance between every node with each other. So we will do this. These many other combinations or the distances present in a square. Now let's see what will be the implementation of this helper method. Inside this helper method, what we need to do is we'll have to point and set. So we need to find the difference between the x coordinate and y coordinate which can be done. Once this is done we will find the distance where the distance will be the square We add the distance into the set. We forgot to take into consideration if the two coordinates can be equal or not. So there can be a test case where the two coordinates are equal and in that case our logic will fail. So what we need to do is if the two of the values, two of the coordinates are equal. then it cannot be a square if anywhere this condition now so the return type of this becomes boolean we need to check at every step if any of the value comes out to be false if that is the case we simply return false we do that by uh, putting all these uh, method calls into an OR condition. Once this is done, we simply will return false. Now, in a square there can be only two distances, one of the side and other of the diagonal. If there are more than those distances, then it is not a square. So we need to check that condition. And if the size of the set is 2, then it is a square. Otherwise, it is not a square. When we run this code, we get the right result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time and space complexity of this algorithm is over 1. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.